everybody and welcome to P10X. This is a quick small demo by me Antriksh on how to download and install AWS Code Whisperer on your VS Code. It's very easy to download it and then to operate it and it's very effective in nature as well. A quick small steps here and there and you will get right through onto it. First of all, of course, as you can see on your Google Chrome, you search VS Code and you have it. You go on there, you click on the first link available to you. It will redirect you uh, to the website, of course, and wherein you will select Windows or Mac as per your preference. Mine is Windows, so I go there and uh, it gets downloaded. Right, so it is downloaded. I have clicked on it and uh, it's going to open the VS Code installer for me. I'm not going to um, go through all the steps because I have a VS Code on my um, laptop, but uh, there you go. It asks for everything. You just accept and then you keep doing next, 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 next until you uh, reach on VS Code. I'm not going to do it as I said because I already have it. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to search VS Code right here and I'm going to open it. As I open it, there it is for me and uh, it loads. So the first thing we're going to do is we are, of course, going to open a folder where we want to uh, yeah, do all of the testing and I've named a folder as test and uh, there you go. So that it is opened. Then we go on to extensions. What do we want? We want AWS and we type AWS here. Quick, simple and easy. You want to, um, so first you go on to extensions, then you search AWS right here, and then you just press install. Once you've done that, now as we can see the AWS symbol, we press on the start button. And then, uh, you know, of course, we'll use the first option, which says use a personal email to sign up and sign in with AWS Builder ID, because that is exactly what we want. So once we do that, it will ask us, should I copy the code or whatever? You just say proceed. Then you, uh, you know, it says, should I open an external website? Of course you can. Then you open it and it generates, it sort of redirects you to right here where you just need to paste the code you do next then it loads on once it does you'll um, land on the page wherein it'll ask for your login credentials so um, it's loading and uh, we shall wait till it does so it's going to take me to the login page it's taking a bit long to be honest but yeah there's my email id you go on to the next button there's the password you sign in and da, 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 da. it's very simple pretty pretty simple for something that is so useful for programmers the uh, demo as to how to get it is pretty simple as it is loading we'll wait and there you go i, I could see my name with the id there and i'll just allow it and very cool and there you go now it can access my data which is always scary but you know <laughs> so uh, we're just going to cross this yes right we jump on back to it and there you go you can see the pause thing here the pause thing means it has started once it has started it's always a nice sign to keep going right we go on to here we go on to the new file so basically we go on to the explorer section where we Try to open a new file. We name it anything. I'll name it demo or Python because that is where we'll be. That's the language we'll be working. And demo.py and it opens. Now we're going to see some use cases, some simple use cases for uh, Amazon Web Services AWS Code Whisperer. So we go on. We just see some simple, pretty, pretty, pretty simple use cases of it. Sort. As it does that. And there it is. There is the option for, um, you know, that is the uniqueness, the quality of something like um, AWS Code Whisperer. 
it grants you a lot of suggestions for what you need to do. And all I had to write was def quick sort, and it gave me the whole code for it. I just press enter. Yes. And then I write friend. There you go. It has already given me a suggestion as to what I might be looking for. All I do right now is I just go here and uh, oh, we just press back and then we run the code to see if it's actually right or not. Let's see. It is running the code. And there you go. There you go. Quick sort. The numbers were 10, 5, 2, 3. It has done exactly what I asked it to, 2, 3, 5, 10. It works. It works, ladies and gentlemen. Now we go on to another use case for all of you. So uh, this time uh, we go with the binary search uh, use case and we type binary search and we wait for it uh, for us, for it to give. Oh, there you go. It has already done it. Uh, so how, like, I mean, how great is that? You know, as soon as I just wrote, it has gone, but yeah, there you go. And it has given me the um, sort of recommendation already. Then I go on, then I write print, and there you go. It has already given me the suggestion yet again. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> print, and there you go. There you go. Right, it's given me. All I need to do is run the code now. And once I do, it will tell me the result for it. And there you go. It has given me the answer. What I was looking for is this exact two. Wow. I mean, yet again, it's done it. It has shown how effective it can be for programmers. And these were the sort of two examples as to how, as I said, effective it can be for all the people using it and a great service, a great sort of um, boost to have for programmers. And yeah, this was the small demo for how to actually install Code Whisperer uh, AWS in uh, your VS code. So I hope every one of you understood as to how to do it. And uh, yeah, see you soon.